Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to review the Traeger Timberline 1300 wood pellet grill. If you're in the market for a grill, make sure you stay tuned to the end of this video. We're gonna cover this grill in detail. We're also gonna share some accessories that you're definitely gonna to wanna to get when you get a grill like this. We'll do all that in today's video right now. All right, so this is it right here with its cover on. It's the Traeger 1300 Timberline model. There is the Traeger mat, which I definitely recommend if you're going to be putting this on a patio or in a garage. I apologize for a little bit of a messy garage today. We are doing some remodeling, so you will see some extra stuff lying around. And then I have a stack of accessories that we like to put underneath the grill when it's out on the patio. So we're going to go ahead, take it out of the bag here. This is a great bag too, by the way. If you get this grill, you definitely want to get the cover to protect it. It actually is form-fitting and designed for this. This is one of the accessories I definitely recommend. We do have an accessories video on our channel that we're going to be doing, which covers everything you need but i'm going to go over a really quick synopsis of things that you definitely want with this traeger so let's take it out of the bag and check it out all right cover is off the traeger here i just wanted to show you the screen here so you can kind of get an idea of what it's all about you've got the dials you've got uh, the timer you've got a sm super smoke section you can ignite it right there and there's the full menu right there where you can check out the probe the auger the pellet sensor and inside here you have the pellet. So this is where you're going to put the pellet. So it uses a wood fire pellet format. So we're going to talk about that a little bit in this video. And it also has the probe right there, which you'll plug in and put it into your meat. Absolutely love that probe because you can actually use an app. Now, if you go ahead and scan that right there on your pellet grill, you will get an app to control this. So it'll actually tell you what the temperature of your meat is when it's done. It also has recipes, all kinds of cool stuff. Now, this particular model comes with two shelves. This one here is a little shelf. I wish it was a little bigger, but you had, they actually have different shelves that you can add to this to make it a little bit bigger. You can get them on Etsy, all kinds of cool places like that. And then you've got a side shelf. This is the standard side shelf, which has these little hooks where you can put some trigger accessories must haves. Now, if we open this up, it's very heavy, heavy duty. Oh, it's got some weight to it. And it actually has a seal that goes all around here. You can see this, and this keeps that heat in, a very consistent heat. Uh, some of their other models do not have this complete seal. So when it goes down, it actually seals down perfectly. Yeah, so a lot of people really like that. It does have a three shelf tier. I apologize if this is a little bit dirty. I use it a lot. I use this grill constantly. I do my best to keep it clean, but... Um, it, it's not too bad considering how much I use this thing, but um, this is it right here, three grates. Now you can take these out and just use two if you need more space. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll take the middle one out and I'll put some ribs down here. I'll put some corn, things like that up on the top shelf. Uh, but you have the ability to do three. So if you just have a huge party with some burgers on here, you just throw some burgers on, some hot dogs, you got uh, all kinds of smoked sausages, some vegetables, all kinds of buns you could put at the top here towards the end. There's all kinds of things you can do because you have this much space. It's huge, absolutely huge. Now, in addition to the obvious spatulas, the grill cleaner, things like that that you need, which I have hooked right here, you, there are a few things that will make your Traeger experience that much better. And one of those things is going to be the cleaning ability. So there's two things that I use on my Traeger all the time. There's actually a Traeger cleaner. Now, this works very simply. All you need to do is just spray it on like you would Windex, something like that and then use your little scrubber. And the one I like to use is the one that actually comes from Traeger. And the reason why is because it's not metal. So you're not scraping metal against metal. And so it will protect your grill for years to come and you just do it like that. And it just comes super, super clean, just like that. Um, and you just do that a little bit. And then there's a method that I use, it's pressure washer method to really get it clean when you wanna show it off. To family and friends so that's a must you got to have cleaner uh, now this cleaner here is made by traeger it can be used on the inside as well as the outside casing but to really get into those crevices i like to just use regular wipes regular wipes like this antibacterial wipes work fantastic you can keep your grill nice and clean now another spray bottle i like to use always just a regular spray bottle which i i will add either water or a mixture of apple cider vinegar and water. And what I like to do is I spray my meat with this. So always have a bottle, just a regular cheap $1 bottle, and then spray your meat while you're smoking it. It just keeps those flavors in. 
Uh, it doesn't burn, doesn't dry out your meat. It's really a good accessory to have, really inexpensive. Uh, another great one is this right here. Now this is called a grill basket. This is a great accessory for your grill because as you can see with the grates, food can fall through. So let's say you're doing shrimp, if you're doing a mixed vegetable medley, something like that. You stick this right on your grill, put your meats in there and it will cook and it will smoke and it will be awesome. Uh, so this grill basket is a must. A cookbook by Traeger is obviously a must as well. It's got all kinds of recipes in here. Best things for your Traeger you can get is a cookbook. Uh, this is a really big deal too. And of course I have a left and a right one when it comes to this so you can grab the meats. But if you have something like this, you can actually grab your ribs right off. And this is a really good accessory. I'll put a link to all these in the description section where you can get all, where I got all these things. Uh, and then these baskets right here, these are really important because inside of here, and I'll open this one up so you can get a bit of an idea. Um, this one is hickory. So they've got, they come with labels and what they do is they hold your wood pellets. And you see that in the video or not, but it holds the wood pellets so it keeps them dry. So you can actually keep your grill outside and it will keep it from getting rained on. And it goes right into the hopper right here. Now your grill will tell you when your pellets are low, which I love that feature, and it doesn't leak, so you can just keep it out. Now this particular grill, and I don't have it out here right now because I'm cleaning it and I've been working on it quite a bit. It comes with a magnetic wood little uh, carving board right here, which I use all the time, so I don't have it out here right now, but it goes right on top here. You can stick it on the side if you want to get it out of the way. I wish I had it here, but unfortunately I've been using the heck out of that thing. I love that feature, but it does come with that standard, so I wanted to tell you about that as well. You don't have to buy that as an accessory, but that's kind of a little bit of an overview about this grill. Now, there's a couple things close up I want to share with you, a little bit about the panel and a little bit about the grease trap and where that's located, because you definitely want to clean that on a regular basis. So let's start with the grease trap. Now the grease trap is located right underneath here. If you can see that, okay. That's your grease trap. So you definitely want to keep that clean because uh, that, if it's not, it will actually notify you and then the grill just won't work well. Now inside here, you can remove these. And there is a another little trap here. Now I love this right here, if you can see that, okay. This right here is removable and you can replace them. So you, can, you can get a whole bunch of those and it will just keep it nice and protect the bottom of your grill. So that's a must as well. Uh, in addition to that, you've got your panel. Now this panel here is pretty incredible. Now, I, I encourage you to watch my video on the app because I show a detailed video on how to use the app to make sure that you are setting your, you can actually start your grill from the app. So you could be in your bed and be like, oh, you know, I think I want to smoke today. And you could just really quickly start up your grill and set the temperature for whatever meat you're going to cook and then just come out here, put it in, and then the app will tell you when it's done. It's a great, great feature. So to ignite it, all you need to do is just hold down the ignition for a few seconds. So let's go ahead and go to the menu. Go ahead and hit ignite. As you can see here, it is igniting and you can actually hear it going. So what I like to do, it takes a couple fire ups to get going. So I just shut this up just like that. And I wait, current temperature inside the grill is 50 thick, 53 degrees and I have it set for 190. Now I've got some videos coming soon on this grill where I'll be smoking some ribs, making some steaks, doing some brisket, all kinds of good stuff. So make sure you are subscribed and have notifications turned on to our channel so you can see the best recipes for that. I share all that on this channel. But it's starting the ignition process and once it starts to ignite, you will see a lot of smoke burrowing from underneath here. So this actually has a reverse convection, so it actually circulates in there, comes out through the back like that, and you will see that in just a few moments. And you've got your power off right here, your emergency power, you've got your power cord right here, and there's a little hook for it too, so you can actually wrap it around this little hook to keep it off of the ground if it rains and it's outside. But it's got a great build quality. I mean, it's just really, really nice, nice quality build. All right, so let's get this thing fired up. We'll show you the smoke and how to operate it. All right, it is fired up. It just takes a couple minutes. You can see you've got some smoke coming here. You should start seeing smoke coming out the back, just like that. I love the way that it comes out the back. Some of the other cheaper models have it like a little tube that comes out like that. This one right here 
comes out right just like that. And I do encourage you to put this in an open air environment, maybe on a balcony or something like that. I have it in my garage for this demonstration purpose, but uh, it is a little bit cold outside. But as you can see right here, it's starting to go up. It'll go up pretty fast too, and it will get up to temperature very, very fast. The smell is amazing. I'm using the cherry apple, which is one of my favorites. They have so many different choices you can get when you go to the store. Just ask them what kind of what wood pellets do you have, and they will tell you all of them. So let's open it up, see what it looks like here. Look at that. Now that is smoke. That's what I'm talking about. That's how you smoke. The Timberline 1300, absolutely love it. It's my favorite grill. It's pretty incredible how easy this grill is to use. I think you'd agree The Timberline 1300 by Traeger is my favorite grill. And I've owned grills. I've owned smokers for years. You just don't get the taste. You don't get the smell. You don't get the full user experience with any other grill that I know of. If you know of another grill that's better than this one, please let me know down in the description section of this video. I'd be curious to find out. And I will try it out. And I will share it on this channel because this is by far my favorite as you can see, it's still smoking here. I went ahead and put it into shutdown mode, so it will shut down. There's a 15 minute shutdown cycle. So it's just really easy to use. It's literally push button, or you can use the app. So I encourage you to check out my other videos on the Traeger here. I've got cooking videos. I also have the use of the app, the Traeger app, how to set it up, how to use it. All that stuff will be on that video. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoy making these videos. I love grilling, I love smoking. We're gonna cover these videos on this channel. I really appreciate all the support you guys give me. Thank you. Bye.